Hey everybody, what's good? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to have y'all here. We are live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, everywhere. We might be streaming across your favorite radio network. I am Carl with Launch with Carl. So glad to have you all here today as we talk about in our business workshop, the seven things, seven actions you should take right now to get your business ready for the future. You know, I'm going to talk about it real quick. You know, I'm going to give a little introduction to my of myself. I see people still coming on, you know, let us know where you're from, what business you're in, what you do, all that good stuff. You know, I see some of my friends, some, see some strangers in the comments. Uh, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm really, really, really glad that you are here. Now, you know, before we do anything, I, you know, I, I always like to, um, you know, start off with a little commercial to give folks time to come in. So some people have seen the commercial, some people have not. But, you know, just to give a little insight into what we're doing, we're going to go straight to that. And as soon as we come back, I'm going right into the workshop. We're going to jump in. I hope you have your pen, your paper, whatever you use to take notes um, so that you could be ready to hear uh, some great things that we have ahead here at launch with Carl prototype consulting group and all that good stuff so we are going to make this happen i'm going to be starting the commercial right now you know in business today everything is so unpredictable so many businesses are being affected by recession, by the economy. And when it comes to entrepreneurs, a lot of us are out here doing it by ourselves. We're alone in this. And we sit there late at night and we're trying to figure out what's next. You know, we thought that having our own business would give us freedom. We thought it would give us more time. We thought that we would be able to do more, have more money. But what's happened is, we've ended up putting more on ourselves than we thought was even out there. Today, I'm inviting you to join us on our 15-week Business Movers Mastermind. A little bit about myself. I am um, what you call a serial entrepreneur. I've actually started four businesses and I went through doing it by myself. There's a reason why the majority of businesses fail within the first year or the first five years. We focus on growth, accountability, and success. You start to learn tricks of the trade that most small businesses have no idea how to do. How do you purchase? How are you supposed to establish business credit? What type of partnerships do you need going forward? Let's say you want to establish a business credit. There are five companies that will give you credit lines right now that will help you build your credit. Most people have no idea who they are. Come let us show you. No, this is not a get rich quick scheme, but what it is, is to put you on a path to growth. What if you had a strategy to escape that friend zone where you're only marketing to your friends and family? What if there was something there that could help you to strategize for the next five years to 10x your business? That's the results that we're going to get out of this. Will you be able to walk away every week with actionable items to grow your business? What if you could make smart goals for the next five years and see them achievable, to see that light at the end of the tunnel? What if you could grow and have a community of people who are in the same boat as you and we all grow together? Click the link below. Go to businessmoversmastermind.com right now and sign up. Start that journey today. I don't want you to wait five years to learn all of those things. I can give it to you right now. My team can help you right now. And over these next 15 weeks, you will see the growth, the success that you've always dreamed of and has been so elusive. Join us today. Visit businessmoversmastermind.com and sign up. Let's go. I would like to uh, thank my... Uh, my wonderful team for making that video. They did an excellent job. I love it. I love it. I love it. We got more to come. So, um, and now you know YouTube likes to keep doing its own thing. Uh, but yes, so now we're going to jump right into our workshop for today um, where we're going to, you know, really get into how to really launch, you know, and not, well, we're not launching today. We're actually growing our businesses. Um, 
through through and feel free, you know, to, in the comments to, you know, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, and I'll get to them at the end. But I do want to see them up there so that we'll be prepared. So we're going to start right now with the seven actions you need to take over the next 100 days as a business person. All right. So give you a little bit about me. I'm Carl J. Gray III. Um, I simply put, I'm an entrepreneur with a passion for business and helping others to thrive in business. It's really what I love to do. The same way some people love to make music. Some people love to do photography. Some people love to do all types of things. I love business. It really is a passion of mine. Um, and a little bit about my history and who I am. Um, you know, I'm a Hampton University alumni, you know, uh, shout out to the real HU. Um, you know, care what other people say. Uh, <laughs> I have over a decade in business and management consulting, digital photography, cybersecurity. It's been eight years since I've had what some people call a boss. Um, I'm chairman of the board of Kennedy Foundation of Arts, board member of the Prince George County Public Schools Business uh, Management Finance Advisory Board. I'm a certified ethical hacker, former political campaign strategist, founder of Learn From a Hacker, over 25,000 hours of paid consulting work across many fields and hundreds of hours of study, research and development in the area of business processes and profitability. And all of these things mean so they have everything up here for a reason and it'll all come together. You're like, oh, that's why he put that stuff there. Um, so I've served a number of different people, you know, District of Columbia, um, you know, different sororities, universities, city, states, uh, Fortune 500 companies, all of them, you know, and, and I've had, you know, very, very uh, good results um, in doing this. So, um, and so I'm what many would call a serial entrepreneur. Uh, you know, I really like starting businesses and doing business. And uh, so, you know, but instead of continuously starting my own businesses, I really want to help other people to build theirs. You know, that's very important to me um, to, to help others get the success that I've seen and that I've helped others to get. Um, I have a real heart to help people. I help regular people, extraordinary people and people who think they're less than extraordinary, but they actually are because we all are great at something. One thing my pastor my teachers that everybody is attending something we've all created um, in God's image. And so we have something great that we can help with people. Um, just some things I've done in 2022. You know, I started two new businesses myself. I told you I can't stop. Won't stop <laughs> building businesses. I've helped over a dozen businesses launch from scratch in one month. Um, I've developed marketing campaigns for seven of my premium clients, training 50 entrepreneurs on how to launch their business. Um, I've been a guest on 20 podcasts and it's actually growing because since I made this, I've been on two more. Uh, I'm the chair of, an, of a nonprofit organization. I've created and delivered two industry le uh, relevant summer camps for teens. And I've secured a contract with uh, teaching entrepreneurship at a well-known school district. So as you can see, I'm truly, truly uh, driven to help others. It's what I do. And my goal over the next two years is to help at least 1,000 entrepreneurs better their lives and incomes. So let's get right into it. All right. So I got a question for you. And, you know, you feel free to answer in the comments. How many times have you had to vent to somebody who you love, but they didn't understand your business, you know, what you were going through? It's like, man, I can't, and they don't really understand because, you know, they have a regular nine to five and there's nothing against nine to five, but it's also nothing like entrepreneurship. Or have you ever had an idea um, that you knew could work, but really wanted to bounce it off somebody so they could poke holes in it? You know, sometimes the people who love us, they think every idea is good. You know what? Well, when I talk to my mother, she's always proud of me, you know, but they, actually my mother, she will tell me about myself and I need to fix stuff. So sometimes your mother's actually a good person. Um, but, you know, sometimes you will tell your friend, like, oh, man, that's great. And they celebrate you. Um, but you kind of wish they would give you some constructive feedback or criticism. Um, and then one last question. Uh, well, not last question. Um, where do you see your business in the next 100 days? Think about it. Think about the last 100 days. What have you accomplished since 100 days ago till now that has caused your business to grow, to expand or scale? Um, and have you ever wondered, uh, wanted to know the interest, intricacies of growing your business, like how to build your credit score or how to grow your operation staff? You know, have you ever just kind of wondered, like, what in the world do I do this? How do I get there? Um, the problem is that most entrepreneurs are doing it solo. You know, um, we're very passionate about we, what we do, but, you know, turning it into that business where it's kind of running and it's not us doing everything, it's, it's hard for us. Um, we have, you know, we don't really have concrete goals outlined to get us to the next steps. We're just kind of taking things as they come. Um, you know, we don't really have a community or support group. Yes, we have a village of people that support us and that like us, but as far as 
who are going along the journey with us that are taking, you know, going down, you know, climbing this mountain called entrepreneurship. We're, we're kind of, you know, by ourselves, it's solo. Um, we're operating without real trusted advisors. Uh, we don't really know what to charge clients. Most of us are actually under charging. Um, and even if our business is profitable, we don't quite know how to see those profits. Um, we don't know how to capitalize on our current relationships. And sometimes we're begging uh, for interactions. You know, we just begging people to like our stuff, let alone buy it. Um, and then sometimes we get stuck in that friend zone, <laughs> as we talked about and I talk about often. Um, and we don't necessarily have the infrastructure for uh, streamlining our business. So who is today's training for? Uh, today's training is for entrepreneurs who have been trying to get a start in business, but it just hasn't happened yet. You know, you got that idea. It's like, man, I want to do it, but I don't really see how. Um, or also it's for those who know that they're good at what they do and they should be getting paid more to do it. You know, I see a number of people on, on, on the training right now that I've gotten services for. And, you know, I'm like, man, they could charge so much more for what they do, um, given the right infrastructure. People who have their idea stage and kind of stuck right there. Um, business procrastinators. Yes, I'm talking to you. The one who came on late. The one who's like, oh, yeah, I need to do this. The one's like, I'll catch this later. Yeah, you've been talking about it, but it's time to do it. I'm not just talking about write it down on paper or tell people about it. I'm talking about get down to the nitty gritty of launching your business. Um, businesses that are doing really well, but you want to do better. And, you know, as I always tell everybody, when I do any of my trainings, I'm talking to you and letting you know that you are worth this. So to prove to yourself that you're worth this, I want you to do a few things. The first thing is, that's not my finger. Um, close your email. You know, you don't want to <laughs> close your email, close your phone, put it on, put it on silent, not even vibrate, put it on silent. Um, close the 20 browser windows you currently have open. I had to do that right before we started. You know, I was like, you know, because my stuff will pop up. I had, you know, little notifications that can distract us. We don't want that. Close the door. Even if you're in the house by yourself, close the door and give yourself this time. Um, if you're a parent, you know, ask the children, you know, don't kill yourself for the next, you know, next hour. Even though it won't be here in the, in the for an entire hour, um, I, you do want to, you know, just have some peace. Be like, please go. This is one time you can let the television babysit your children. Um, so look, now let's get started. Today, my goal, as always, is to, um, if you would allow me to, empower you to gain control and see how your business can prosper faster than you ever imagined with less effort than you ever thought. Now, let's talk business, all right? As I told you, I've been a consultant for some of the largest companies in, you know, in our country and in the world. And, you know, some things that I've learned about them, they all strive on strategic growth. You know, um, they set smart goals and we all know what smart goals are. Um, they implement proven systems um, and they're prepared for most major shifts in the economy, even pandemics. And I'll explain that later. Um, and they know how to compete and collaborate simultaneously. And one of the things that they're best at is they are really good at hiding all of the above from the rest of us. You know, sometimes we think they're caught off guard by certain things, but a lot of people don't know that um, most companies have had to have a pandemic plan in their disaster recovery continuity of operations plan. The reason that I know this is because I've audited their continuity of operations programs and pandemic has been there for almost 15 years. Um, you know, even when we think they're competing, especially in times of emergencies, they're collaborating on the back end, making sure that prices are still there, making sure that legislation is still done. They do all of these things, you know. Um, so how do you think that these big businesses survive the pandemic? Let's be real. And I, don't take my word for it. Now, I looked it up in the Global Resilience Institute, which talks about resilience in business. It said researchers found that the ability to adapt and pivot quickly along with the willingness to pool knowledge and resources contributed to the survival of businesses hit in sectors hit hardest by the pandemic, meaning they had a strong infrastructure. So they had that foundation where they could pivot and collaborate. That collaboration breeds strength. Did any of the major uh, supermarkets close during the pandemic they did not and we're not even just talking about that any type of emergency you watch you know whether it be a, a stock market crash whether it be a recession a depression there are certain businesses that always seem to be making it i mean you know coincidence amazon and your delivery services 
stock to the roof. Let's just think about it. And then they also have, as I spoke before, a coup, which is a continuity of operations plan that help to ensure that they're uh, survival, surviving and thriving, right? But don't get mad. I know some people are like, big business is always taking advantage of the little guy. I know it's so easy for us to get upset. We learned about that. Like, you know, they, they working on the back room trying to get at us. You know, whether they use a tax loophole, collaborations to control costs, or making killing when it's rough on everybody else. And sometimes that's against everything that we believe in. But there's always a but. As entrepreneurs and business owners, we can actually learn what they do replicate it and use it to do good while we're doing well. And that's very important to me, to do good, meaning do good for people while doing well for myself. That is what I call true empowerment. So like I said, let's learn from them. So I'm almost done. <laughs> this is my challenge to you, to do these seven deliberate actions over the next 100 days, all right? Write out your business goals. And we're going to go get in a little bit more detail after this slide. Write out your business goals. Build your business credit. Do a three-week marketing blitz. And I'm going to talk really deep about that in a couple of slides. Add to your staff. You have to be like, wait, yes, you're doing it by yourself. Or maybe it's another person. But no matter what, over the next 100 days, I want you to add one person to your staff somehow or another. And I'm going to give you some strategies on it in a couple of minutes. Um, create an emergency pivot plan, meaning if something happens, if there is another disease that pops up and your government feels like you shouldn't be going outside, what are you going to do? Because you still have mortgages and rent and, and, and food bills, everything. you got to pay something. And we can't sit and wait and hope that they're going to give us some type of loan or they're going to give us some type of stimulus. It's really up to us. We don't want to be dependent on the government to do that type of stuff. Um, build an introductory offer and a high ticket offer. We're going to talk about what that what those actually mean and join an intimate community of entrepreneurs. I know a lot of us are in these, you know, 10, 20, 100,000, 250,000 uh, people Facebook groups, but get to something more intimate where you can have accountability amongst one another. Um, so let's start it off. Number one, write out your business goals. We want them to be smart goals. Smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. We want those type of goals. Do short-term goals. I recommend the 12-week year. That's my program. We use a 12-week year, um, you know, to do short-term goals, to get, you know, through. That takes you just above, I mean, just before uh, you get to 100, um, 100 days. So uh, write them out and achieve them. Um, then do long-term goals, six months, one year, three years, five years, and make sure and I always start at five years and work my way down because if you have the top of the mountain, then you know the milestones that you must reach to get back down. Then, like I said, create your intro and high ticket offers. Now, introductory offer, want that to be $100 or less. It can be sold and delivered automatically, you know, for residual income. And I know some people are like, well, I have this type of business. I have that type of business. Every business can have this type of offer. You want it to be high value to your customer and low cost to you. And we'll teach you how to create those as well. Um, make sure customers want more because then you want to also have a high ticket offer. A high ticket offer is $10,000 or more. It's high touch or customized, meaning they get a lot of view from this and it's very high value. And we'll even teach you how you can make an offer worth five figures that anybody can pay for. We have method methods that they'll be able to do that. Um, build your business credit. Of course, you need to have that you know, your business tax ID, employee ID number, get a Dun and Strat, Duns and Bradstreet number, um, you know, get some net 30 accounts that'll help you, you know, rolling over and make purchases and pay them off, you know, using your credit cards. Um, and then, of course, call your creditors for an increase. You will be surprised how quickly your credit can go up. When you use the company, there are many companies out there, a number of companies out there who are willing to give new businesses small lines of credit. But as you prove yourself and you can prove yourself very, very quickly, um, they they will increase your credit line. I had no idea until I did it. Um, add to your staff at least one person, whether it's hiring a W-2 employee full time, um, get 1099 contracted employees, getting a virtual assistant. That's technically adding to your staff or creating an internship program. One of the best things I ever did in 2021 was create an internship program. Those individuals actually started and turned into my employees. Um, develop your COOP, your continuity of operations plan. 
uh, you know, that means, you know, you identify the inherent risks to your company. Uh, you identify pivot points in your business. Uh, you look at look for a uh, low hanging fruit. And um, then you want to go into a three week marketing blitz. Let me talk about this real quick, OK, because people like three weeks of marketing. They hate doing it. And I'm not just talking about, you know, going live every once in a while. You have to, first of all, plan it out. Be goal oriented. Know what you want your audience to do. It's not just about saying, hey, um, you know, I'm going to go live and I'm going to talk about something. But be very strategic in what you say. Be very strategic in what you're putting out there. And a part of this, you want to have, of course, compelling headlines because things that you write will catch people. Um, you want to use strong images, whether it's photos of yourself, get you a nice photo shoot, um, you know, or go get some stock stock footage um, of what you do. Um, then promote, promote, promote. Go gorilla. I mean, be everywhere at once and annoy yourself. And the reason I say annoy yourself is because a lot of times we're hesitant about putting things out there all the time. But what we don't know is no one sees our stuff as much as we do. We look in the mirror more than anybody. Um, and so every time you post something, you see it. But every time you post something doesn't mean everyone sees it. Unfortunately, due to, you know, the great algorithm, uh, our most of our social media posts only go to less than 10 percent uh, organically of our audience. You know, of course, you also want to you know, know how to purchase uh, social media and all of those things. But you don't. Um, but. Don't be afraid to go gorilla and just post, 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 because very few people will see it every time you post. Um, and we have real, really good strategies on even how to automate this. Um, then, like I said, you want to join a community of entrepreneurs. It's called in the business a lot of times a mastermind. And that's what a lot of these uh, big businesses do. They don't call it a mastermind. Sometimes they call it a consortium or, you know, a league, all of those type of things. But it's really just a, a fancy word for mastermind. But you want one that re meets regularly. I recommend one that meets weekly, but there are some out there that we meet monthly. Um, you know, they're not, they hold you accountable for your goals, uh, provide you with actionable information, and they're medium to high touch, meaning you're not just looking at videos. You're actually dealing with people. And the unfortunate reality is all of these things that we want to do that I type that I that, that I put up here, all of them, we're, you're going to try to do them alone. And that's scary. You know, we're doing business alone and it takes time. It takes energy. How many sleepless nights have you had? You know, because you had to figure out how to do something before you could do it and just hope it was right. Um, but question, what would it feel like? If you had a community of entrepreneurs to help guide, inspire and support you as you create the business of your dreams, 80 percent of all billionaires were not born into wealth, meaning you have the opportunity to be that. I have the opportunity to be that. That's the road that I'm putting you know, myself on. Um, what would it mean to have a business and methodology that you could turn to in the event of any crisis or emergency? What would it mean to you to have a have resources at your fingertips um, that have been where you want to go? Think about that. Now, over the next 100 days, think about this. Imagine. <laughs> go with me, please. If you could establish your business credit, escape that dreaded friend zone, um, craft a business plan, you know, uh, which is a good thing for all of us to have. Um, if. Uh, you know, craft that business plan, you know, develop a quick selling offer, something you can make cash from very, very, very uh, easily. Um, also, uh, develop a high ticket offer. You know, imagine meeting with somebody and them and walking away with them giving you, you know, a check for five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Uh, that's happened to me, <laughs> to be honest. And it works and it feels really good. I will tell you that it feels actually great, as Tony the Tiger says. Um, you can start an internship program. Think about that. You know, where you're giving back to people. And there's a, there's one secret to every internship program that you must know in order for it to be successful. And I tell all of my clients this secret. Um, if you could establish key partnerships and collaborations, um, you know, so that, you know, you have a good network of people the same way that, you know, a lot of these companies out here, they really work together a lot. And this is something that we must start doing as small businesses. And, and most of us are minority businesses as well. We have to create that network that has actually been successful for us over years. We can't leave that alone. Um, you can automate your marketing um, or 
it, it, where, you know, as you go gorilla, it's a lot easier for it to happen. You know, think about it. like right now I am live on seven different locations at one time. Um, you know, if you get three to 10 X your current revenue, if you could get a full grasp um, on the future of your of your business, um, that would be a great thing. Actually, you know, you tell me, do you think that would be good? You know, go ahead and type it in the comments. Is that something that you would want? If over the next hundred days you had all of these things, would that be a good thing? Type it in the comments. Touch your neighbor. Say neighbor, neighbor. Oh, I'm talking to myself. Oh, yeah. Say this will be a good hundred days because I know it would be. Um. So. Now, if you'd rather spend hours a day for weeks and months just planning, trying to figure out how to do all that stuff, that is completely your choice. Because I'm going to tell you, I know people who they really want to learn the hard way. Like some people enjoy the hard way. Carl is not one of those people. I do the hard way only so I can help some others. Um, now, who does this work for? This works for coaches. I know so many coaches. Uh, physical trainers, event planners, writers, consultants, financial planners, um, photographers, ethical hackers like myself. My, I'm all of those. Uh, personal and event chefs, videographers, virtual assistants, closet organizers, landscapers, car detailers, copywriters, HR specialists, independent contractors, housekeeper services, fashion consultants. It worked for me, and I can tell you it could work for you. If you're a makeup artist, I see people out here who give facials. Actually, the person who gave me my last facial is on this right now, and I they, like this could work for any business you have. Yes, it even works for network marketers and multi-level marketers. Anybody who wants to be successful in business, this program will work for. And you showed up for a reason today, maybe more than one, even though you're super, super busy. I know what it's like being an entrepreneur. I know how busy it is. I know sometimes we got sleepless nights and we have so many things to do, but you showed up today. You spent 24 minutes and 37 seconds up to this point um, because you know you want your own business to, to grow, but you aren't sure where to start to move it. You see the job and technology and social landscape, they're changing and you want to have control of your own destiny. You're, you don't want to wait for somebody to forgive your loan for you to be able to prosper. You don't want to wait for for somebody to, for, uh, to, 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 to give some type of stimulus or some type of tax break. You want to control, you want to control your own destiny. You know, you want to build generational legacy wealth for you and your family. I know I do. You know, uh, I, I look at the next generation. I want them to have a whole lot more than I have. And not just have, but know more, be more, do more. I'm not talking about handouts or just hand me down. I'm talking about building a legacy that they can grow. We've seen so many others and so many other communities do it. It's time for us to do it. And the way we do it, we do it together. So I want you to take control of the future. Because when you have your own business, you can be sure that not only do, do you always will you always have income, but you'll be able to protect yourself and your family from uncertain economic happening in the future. We did not know 2020 was coming when 2020 came. Yeah, we know the calendar was going to change, but who had any idea that we were going to shut down for two weeks, years? Exactly. Yes, it was two weeks that turned it into two years. You know, and so many people went through so much. But, you know, there was a lot of prosperity that was made during that time. And that's because people took control of it. Now, I have great news for you today. You have two choices right now that you can make because you've been on here for 26 minutes and 17 seconds. And I've showed you a lot. You can do it yourself with what you've learned today. Now, it might be more trial and error. And I will promise you in 15 weeks, you'll be like, oh, I wish I would have joined you. Yeah, You know, that's your choice. Or you can fast track your results with me and my team. All right. Now, before we get to questions and answers, I'm going to quickly show you what, uh, what's possible. Um, but first, let me tell you a story. All right. Just real quickly. Um, I, you know, joined uh, a number of groups, you know, because I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. So, you know, I really, really wanted to, uh, you know, I joined some mastermind groups, some coaching programs and all of that. And it was one in particular, very, very popular. A lot of people were in it. And um, they split us up into, you know, groups about, you know, the smaller groups. And I really thought I was going to get into it. And they were going to show me a whole lot about business. I'm like, look, I, you know, I've been studying this for years, but I need a little bit of help here. And I was sitting in there and, you know, we met the first time and, you know, they put, picked the group leader. I said, I'm not going to be the group leader. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to just, you know, learn, you know, now, mind you, I've been taught by some really good people. Um, you know, my, my, my pastor raised me up teaching about business. You know, I was, um, 
I was mentored by uh, one of the most successful men ever to live in Prince George's County, uh, Maryland. And so, you know, and I've been with a lot of different companies my entire life. I've worked with uh, businesses under, gratefully, uh, uh, black people who have been very successful in business. And um, so I was like, but I, I need this, this extra push. And so I joined this mastermind group and I, you know, went in and then it seemed I was in it for four weeks. And every week it seemed like I was coming in and I was teaching people how to build their businesses. And that was a little bit frustrating to me. Um, actually, it was very, 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 very frustrating to me, to be honest with you. And so what I had to do was I said, you know what, Carl, it's time to start your own. Because if you're helping people and actually somebody in the group said, Carl, why don't you start your own? Because you've been helping us this entire time. It's your time to go ahead and do it. And that's one of the things that inspired me uh, to do this. So that is why. I created my own personal mastermind group, um, which is a community of entrepreneurs who are growing weekly. It's uh, I'm going to take you on a journey. No, actually, it's a hundred meter sprint to launch your business. And yes, we're going to be jumping hurdles. And the best way I could, you know, uh, 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 represent that is with my good friend, uh, Kelly Wells Brinkley, who is an Olympic medalist in a hundred meter hurdle uh relay and you know i asked if i of course i got a permission to use this to represent because you know this is how we want to be we want to be champion representations of our business and you know i mean how coincidental that i have a good friend that's an olympic medal hurdler that you see that was from the london 2012 uh olympics and so that is what we're going to do we're going to sprint over the hurdles that have been holding your business back over the next 15 weeks. So starting next Tuesday, September 16th, I'm taking just a few businesses through my business uh, movers mastermind program. You know, so I'm giving all of my experience to you. As I told you before, the things that I've done, you're, you're getting the speed and marketing of a political campaign. Yes, I've been ver I've been successful in a number of campaigns uh, back in the day. Um, you're getting the assurance and detail of an audit program. Meaning I've audited, again, Fortune 500 companies um, for years. The creativity of an artist. Yes, I'm a photographer. I'm a drummer. I do a number of different things. And the dedication of a COO, someone who cares about the operations of your business. And it's not just me. I'm bringing in experts on credit, experts on understanding your personnel, all of those type of things. How do you actually get that next person in your business for an expensive price? All of that is what we're doing. So be a part of the 20. We might it may end up being more, but um, but why this launch program? Because we're not just theory and information. I'm not just gonna sit here and say, hey, go read this. No, we're gonna be doing every time we come together, we're gonna be doing. You're gonna have daily, every time we meet, fill in the blank um templates so that you never have to create the recreate the wheel. You're gonna assistance from experienced professionals. Um, it's a fully immersive and interactive experience. Um, and it helps you to retain the information. So the things that we give you, you can do over and over and over again. Um, then constant achievement boosts confidence and it creates momentum because every week you're going to be achieving. And I'm going to show you all of the things that are going to be going on every week. So you'll know exactly what it is. Um, and of course, a community of great entrepreneurs at your disposal 24 seven. We're not talking about just being in, you know, again, a 217,000 uh, member Facebook group, which is good, which is fun. But, you know, are you getting that attention? Are you are you actually creating the community that you want? Um, you know, so here's how each week works. Uh, there's a 60 to 90 minute group working session. Then, you know, the. Uh, every week, somebody's going to be in the hot seat uh, for accountability where, you know, you present an idea, you present a goal, you present something that you've done and we give you constructive criticism. You know, again, we aren't people who, uh, you know, we, we, we didn't raise you. We didn't grow up with you, um, but we are just here to help you because we know that as we help you, that you'll help us and we all help each other. Um, weekly hands on step by step presentations from business experts on building solid business infrastructures. Um, homework to prep for the next week because you do want to be able to take these things and add them. So if you have a staff, if you have a business partner, you all work together to build these things. You have the opportunity to present and market to fellow entrepreneurs. And of course, you know, you got a good pitch, you'll make a sale. That's just how it works. And then, of course, we do question and answers because, you know, um, a part of growth is being able to express, you know, things that you may not understand and be able to get better understanding of them. So again, I ask you, if over the next 100 days you could do this, how would you feel? You know, 
if all of a sudden you have, you know, all of these business credit accounts that help you to build the things that you need for your for your um for your group, you've escaped you've escaped the friend the friend zone. Um, you've crafted your business plan. You know, you got your high ticket auto, uh, uh, offering. You're you're automating your marketing. You've 10x, you know, 3x, 10x your revenue. Think about how much you're making now. Imagine just three times that much. How would that feel to you? And what what building this type of infrastructure helps you to get there. And so these are all of this is this is week one through 15. And initially it was going to be 12 weeks because I was doing the 12 week year. But it was like, OK, Carl, you got to add this. You got to add that. You need to have this. And I believe in over delivering. So I increased the um, the amount of weeks just because, hey, it's my prerogative. And that's how I want to help people. So we're going to be, you know, start off uh, goal setting. We're going to show you how to build community. How do you get the people around you working with you? You know, where, where you become the, the expert, the guru that they look to um, need cash. You know, wh what would you do right now if you needed a cash grab? Do you have something that if emergency came up, you don't even have to go to your savings. You can go to your marketing. And say, hey, I'm going to make this and do this. But even if you just want to go vacation, say, I want to, uh, I want to fly first class this time. Create a product, put it out there, market it. There are ways to do that. You know, establishing business credit, marketing automation, crafting your business plan, creating your introductory offer, um, creating your five-figure offer, starting your own internship program, learning how not to do it all yourself. Um, you know, uh, resources and tools. I'm going to give you an insight into all the resources and tools that I use for my businesses. Um, escaping the friend zone because no one likes to be stuck in the friend zone. Don't you know? It? Um, uh, buy like the big boys and big girls um, and get get the bank for your buck. There's so many things that a lot of um, businesses do when they're purchasing that small businesses have no idea exists. They don't know um, that there are different uh, tricks that you can do in order to get um, to get the lowest price. You know, have you ever written an RFP for yourself and, you know, even dealing with that, you know, because salesmen are going to sell. But you want to know exactly that you're getting what you want. You know, pricing with confidence, you know, be able to, to double your price confidently, knowing that you're going after the right people. And then, of course, partnerships and collaborations. And depending on how the mastermind goes, we may move some of these things around, but you will get all of this information. And what we focus on is growth, accountability and success. You know, that's what we're doing. Um, so let's talk numbers. Let's say if you sold 10 products at 100 products at $20, that's $2,000. That's, you know, that's pretty decent for a lot of people. It's like, hey, wow, that's not, that's not bad. You know, just a $20 product. So people have that. Um, a fifty dollar product, fifty products at fifty dollars. That's twenty five hundred. But imagine if you had a five hundred dollar product and you sold ten of them. That's five thousand dollars. With the mar right marketing, you'd be surprised that each of these take the exact amount of effort. Each of these, you get the choice on how you want to do it based upon what you want to input. Now, how long would it take for you to get all of those things on your own? I don't want you to think about it. Would it be four months? Would it be four years to learn it? I know it took me a long time. I have a library full of books. I listen to podcasts all day and ebooks. Anybody can tell you I'm a musician that doesn't listen to music because I'm so dedicated to business that all I listen to is uh, audio books and, um, and podcasts so that I can know how to serve my clients even better. How long have you already been waiting to put it off? Pull it off. You know, think about the last 100 days of your business. How much have you been able to do on your own to grow? You know, let's talk about this. So why even risk it? Join us. So what would you pay in the open market? People like, Carl, oh, you know, like, hey, my one on one clients, they know I'm not cheap. And I tell them all the time, I do not come cheap. You know, you know, you start with me at six hundred um, six thousand dollars plus expenses. And we go through the same process. And it's actually 12 weeks, not 15. Um, you know, we, we work one on one and we do that. However, you know, of course. You know, and other people charge, you know, I've, I go through programs like this and, you know, they charge nearly ten thousand dollars and it's mainly recorded videos. Like it's not even high touch, you know, and there's very little interaction and they'll only focus on one element of your business. Maybe it's marketing, maybe it's social media. I mean, they're very good at those things, but there's so much more to your business that you need and that you want. But I'm not charging that. You know, because I want you to get results now. And I know a lot of people don't have a check to write for six thousand dollars. Now, if you do, come holler me one on one. We can make that happen. I have no problem. Like, like I don't want to be with them. We can work make this happen. That's not a problem. We will happily do that. Um, but I believe in the power of entrepreneurship, and I love seeing businesses succeed. Anybody who's ever worked with me, they know how much I rejoice every time they make any type of sale. Anytime they move, every time they move, like one of 
One of my clients uh, had, had her face on a billboard down in Atlanta. And I, I mean, I, I cited it to the moon. When she made her first uh, big ticket sale, I cited it to the moon. I mean, they, they know that's just how I am. And yes, I do use the word size because I am from Kentland. Um, so I'm more focused on my goal of helping entrepreneurs. And I know that if I can help more than one at a time, it's easier for everybody. So, and did you know that since you're in business, all trainings are tax deductible? You can write it off. Talk to your uh, professional, uh, your accountant about that. And actually, we're going to have accountants to come and talk to our mastermind group as well. So you know how to take care of taxes. It's a part of our financial piece. Um, now, my regular price for this is $1,700. Now, mind you, if you had a product for $100 and you sold it to 17 people, you'd make that money back. Uh, or 100 people purchasing at um, $17, you'd make that money back easily. But I'm not charging that. And that's not even a whole story, you know, but that's my version of, but wait, there's more big bright colors. Um, so along with the program, you actually get monthly one-on-one -on -one sessions with myself and my team. Um, so we analyze where you are, you know, so you're not, you know, you know, it's like we make necessary adjustments to whatever you're doing so that you can get the maximum response and answer any questions you may have. So we're doing that. Then it's on demand. So I know you may not be able to meet every time. There's actually going to be one day on October 4th. We won't be meeting. We'll be meeting at another day that week because um, I reserve uh, observe observing Yom, Yom Kippur. And so, you know, but, you know, if in any time you can't make it, you're still able to see everything. You see everything on demand. Um, so it gives you the opportunity to really understand what's being said. And if you miss something, that's fine. You know, some people go on vacation, kids in school, all that type of stuff. It makes sense to us. And it even allows you to go at your own pace. You can be there, ask the questions and still come back and say, hey, I want to look at this again. Also, um, I believe in digital dorm rooms, you know, and if anybody knows me as a Hamptonian, you know, you notice my colors are blue and white, right? All right, cool. Um, I, the historic James Hall, you know, I stayed in room 507 up there at the top. I like to do what's called digital dorm room. And that's where the, the, the real meet other comes where you're able to talk to each other you know you can ask get assistance you know encouragement engagement you know post that you've done this post that you need help with that collaborate we want to start this collaboration immediately we don't even have to wait till it comes up in week 15 start now to do it you know 24 7 access if i'm up i'll answer if your other entrepreneurs are up they will answer um you know and so today's offer is valued at eight thousand dollars i'm not gonna go swell to you easily easily. And I know a lot of people who charge like this. I mean, even I was instruct, you know, you know, I go through my own coaching programs and, you know, they say, Hey, you need to charge it. I'm like, man, I'm not doing that yet to my people. You know, so let me give some introductory, you know, so we're going to start our fall special $97 a week. Or if you pay it all up front right now, um, 1197. However, for the next 24 hours only, and you can do one payment of 997, less than a thousand dollars. Uh, or 15 payments of $85. If you go to businessmovementmastermind.com right now, start. So only for the next 24 hours will this price be like that. After the in 24 hours, it's going to go back up to the 1197, which is still a great price. But if you can save money, why not? You know, you can start again right now, $85, and it will actually you already get the move because there's some pre work that you want to do even before next week. Um, I will not be accepting people after this after the start date because I don't want to I don't want to do the catch up thing. Um, so you you I mean, of course, I recommend you get it now at the best price. However, uh, if you decide that you want to, you know, uh, the latest you can actually do it is um, next Monday. So now also the first 10 people to sign up, you'll also get my four days to launch program absolutely free. I'm throwing it in there. It's the program that I use to launch businesses all the time. It's how I've launched every business that I've had. Um, it's the perfect companion to this program because it actually helps you get money in your pocket. Um, just show up. You know, it's right there. Let me know those the people who sign up um, and pay full price. Um, so you'll, you'll be able to get this program for uh, free. And, and this alone is worth the price of admission. It's normally fifteen hundred dollars because of all the information that we give. You know, it's a textbook as well as the videos. Um, so again, like I said, this, this expires in only, uh, 24 hours, this deal again, go there right now, start $85 to get started. It's the perfect price. It costs less than the tennis shoes I have on my feet. Uh, so let's make it happen for you. You know, I'm here for you. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, 
uh, feel free to um, feel free to ask them in, in, in the comment section. Uh, yes, Terrell, um, I am able to send you this presentation. I can't send you the slides, of course, but I'll definitely send you the presentation. It will be on replay on my Facebook, on the YouTube, as well as on Twitch. Um, and if you need it to be sent to you by a uh, carrier pigeon, um, I'll do that as well because I'm that dedicated to helping you all. Um, so, but more than anything, you will experience growth like you've never imagined in just 100 days. Like I said, go back, imagine my homegirl Kelly, you know, sprinting at the Olympics, jumping over hurdles, and winning a medal. You'll have the business you always dreamed of. I mean, you know, like stop, it's, it's no more time to doubt yourself, no more time to doubt where you're going with this. These are proven methodologies of, with experts that are here to help you. And if you're worried about getting started, you should see the price of staying exactly where you are. So many times we, we hesitate, you know, and as they say, you know, those who hesitate are lost. You don't want to be lost because you hesitated. You don't want to be one who sits back and lets, let's, you know, opportunity pass them by. You know, opportunity is knocking. You want to let them in. You want to let them in. I'm sorry. I just knocked. And so the dog started barking in the background. See, he knows that when a knock happens, he needs to respond. Quiet. So that's what he does. You know, you need to be the same way as Marley. Marley, you got to be quiet. I'm sorry. It was my fault. Okay. My bad. So <laughs> I, had, I should have told him that before I did it. But so if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Again, there, you can type them in the comments um, or, or wherever you decide. Um, but I'm so happy that you all came. Um, there's there's so much more that we can do, uh, so much more that we can talk about. Um, let's make this happen and, 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 and do this. All right? So I look forward to seeing you all on the other side. Join the program. Make it happen. And we going to do this.